Alrighty, we are back in Studio 61 this morning for our Creative Futures segment. And the passion behind poets are just one of the things that are so impressive. We are happy to have one of those artists with us this morning, introducing you guys to Mercury Lamb, a poet editor and activist. Good morning Hi. and thank you for joining us. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here. Yeah, we are excited to have you. You are young, but you have already accomplished quite a bit. Uh, so Mercury, how old are you? I'm 17. 17. Now you guys, she left school. She just had a test last period. <laughs> left school to join us here at Fox 61. Uh, so you're getting ready to embark on that very important time where a lot of seniors are trying to figure out what the next step is. So you've yeah. been a college, uh, applying to colleges. What are some of the schools you've applied to? Um, so I applied early to Yale and some other schools that I will be more than happy to go to are Barnard, Brown, Bowdoin, a lot of liberal arts schools. Awesome. Um, really anywhere that would take me. <laughs> Yeah. And you've had uh, quite a, an interesting life so far. You are a first-gen student here in Connecticut, and you immigrated from China, correct? Yeah. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about that. What was that experience like? Um, it was really interesting. So I moved by myself when I was eight, and I didn't speak English at all. I had to learn it here. And right now, I'm a boarding school student, so mm -hmm. I go to Loomis, which is a like a really nice prep school. I'm really lucky to go on scholarship. And it's been a really good experience. I feel like all the teachers and the support that I've gotten are really amazing. Awesome, awesome. Now, you are also an author yeah. at the young age of 17. And you will be speaking at the Miami Book Fair in just about two weeks, right? Yeah. Now, Mercury will be one of the youngest panelists there. Like, how incredible is that? What was your reaction once you found out you'd be speaking at the event? I was really excited. Um, I'm really excited also to speak with a lot of you, other youth poet laureates. Over the past year, I've been able to like work with others in nationwide. So the Youth Poet Laureate program is just a program that really connects everyone from all across the nation and just has have celebrate in like our activism or our poetry. Yeah. And being able to participate at Miami Book Fair, which is an incredible event, just exemplifies that even more. Awesome, awesome. What do you draw your inspiration from? I think nature mm -hmm. and the world around me. Connecticut is really beautiful, and yes. I've been lucky to experience the seasons. Um, I also have been lucky to have a lot of people in my life, and I write poetry about them as well. And lastly, I draw a lot of my inspirations from art. Awesome, awesome. Now, your book, it's called Blood Paths. Yes. When was it released? It was released this April. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Now, how did you feel having that you know, under your belt and knowing that your work is out there for the masses to enjoy. It was really amazing. And I think sometimes I just stumble across book reviews. Um, like a few months ago, I had a book review that I didn't even know existed about me. And it called me like one of the rising voices. And it was just so nice to hear. I think it's just really nice to have that ability to show people, oh, I've done these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is so awesome. And you're just 17 already embarking on a very, very bright future. Um, now, not only are you getting involved with this book fair and you have your own book out, you are also running for National Youth Poet Laureate. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. It's amazing. So the National Youth Poet Laureate program was first, like the first National Youth Poet Laureate was Amanda Gorman, mm -hmm. as you may know. And it's had a slew of really incredible, amazing poets the past few years. And they pick out of the regionals. So I'm the first, I'm actually the first one in state for Connecticut as well to oh, participate. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> um, so hopefully I run for Northeast regionals, which represents all of New England. Yeah. And then I can go on and hopefully become the national one. Awesome. Well, yeah. we are wishing her luck. We would love to have someone from right here in Connecticut be the next national youth poet laureate. That is incredible. You're already doing so many great things. Uh, before we head out, how can people keep up with you? Um, you can find my Instagram at Southern Brown and my website at southernbrown.card that's with two R's dot co. Okay and where's your book available? Uh, my book is available on my website as well as my publisher Kif Books and as long as you google it I'm pretty sure you can find it. Yeah <laughs> yeah. All right so let's support this young shining star. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.